Hi guys, uh, Kokun here, coming at you at one of the basement conversions that one of my clients is currently doing in the city of Wellman. So basically he bought this property, uh, he rented out the upstairs separately for 1700 uh, plus hydro, and he's in the middle of uh, completing a legal basement conversion. So come on in, you're currently going through the side, uh, the rear entrance that goes straight to the lower level. Uh, so this is actually a four level side split. So there's four separate levels. Uh, and if you come on in here, so this is the uh, this is the living space of this particular unit. So there's going to be a a good sized kitchen in this corner over here. Um, there's these two massive windows because of the fact it's a uh, a side split. You have these amazing sized windows, and then the rest of the space is going to be a living space. There's a gas uh, fireplace over there just so that they can control their own temperature. Um, so that's the living space. The nice thing about this property is there was already a washroom here on the third level. So what he's deciding to do, so over here, he's gutted it, he's taken everything out, but he's left the plumbing in there. So what he's gonna do is make it into a simple three-piece washroom. This is gonna have a shower, uh, a toilet, and a sink. And then on the third level already, there is already a bedroom. So he's gonna keep it as it is. If you come over here, you can see the existing window is actually quite a bit smaller than the space. So he's gonna cut it open, make it larger, and put in a good sized window there. There's already a closet here. So some things to note are if we come on here. So similar to every, uh, every conversion, when you're legalizing these properties, you have to do proper sound and fire separation. So right now he's put in 5 8 Type-X drywall, it's a thicker fire resistant drywall. He's put it on a resilient channel, so there are these metal channels that you attach to the floor joists above and then you hang the drywall right off of it. Um, and also there is uh, rock so safe and sound in between the joist cavities. So that uh, is a fire damper as well as a sound damper. So there's actually a dog in the upper unit above that's barking quite loudly, but actually even the sound there is well. So if you come on over here to the lowest level, so we already have one bedroom, we have already have one washroom, this is the kitchen, living area, lots of natural light, and we come on over here to the lower level. So this property allowed for a few unique things. Because of its size, we're actually going to have two full washrooms in the basement apartment. So if you come on over here, he's got plenty of space to work with here. So he's putting in a large washroom, there's going to be a tub there and it's just going to be an immense amount of space. And then over here, he's going to have the stackable washer dryer. So again, with our basement suites, we always want to separate uh, the units and give them their ensuite laundry so that it, it really elevates the, the quality of the place. Bedroom number two is over here. Now, this bedroom is a little bit funny. It's still a good space, but it's actually a lot smaller than it could have been. One of the challenges we faced was we didn't want to move the existing electrical panel, which is on the other side of this wall over here. So instead, what we decided is to carve out that space to make it part of the furnace room and to have like this big walk-in closet over here. Um, so anyways, this is bedroom number two. If you want to check out the, uh, the closet space, it's not too bright, but you can see it's, it's a good sized walk-in closet. All right. And then if we come on over here, this is what I, this is now the third bedroom. So if you imagine, this is actually a basement apartment that has three full bedrooms and two washrooms. So if you come on in here, we also have a good sized closet space on this side and he's going to cut out a, there was already a small window here, but he's going to cut it out and make a full egress window even in this lowest level. It's going to bring a lot of natural light into this bedroom. Um, and yes, yeah, so he's going to have three good bedrooms, all with closets and back here we have the furnace utility room. It's actually much bigger than it needs to be, but um, there's, there's a, a line you got to draw between cost of what you're going to spend on the renovation and to maximize it. In this case, this two, these two levels are actually 1400 square feet. So already his renovation cost is much higher than the average basement apartment, given the fact he has two full washrooms to do as well. So we decided, you know what, let's save a little bit on the electrical cost. He's splitting the meters, he's doing 
uh, everything required, but he didn't want to move the panel as well uh, and add an extra cost from that uh, perspective. Um, but yeah, so he already has tenants that have told him they're ready to pay $1,500 to rent this, this apartment, this lower level apartment, plus hydro. He already has the upper level rented out at $1,700. That's covering his mortgage payments while he's going through this uh, conversion process and this renovation. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'd be happy to help. Thank you.